This is the Site Interceptor. Site Security, we're coming in. And we're back with a bang. Oh, Jesus, that's absolutely solid. On patrol with Bristol's finest building site security guard. Get down on your knees, get down on your knees. Good. He's complying with my orders. Protecting innocent bystanders from life-changing injuries. Not on my watch. Crime never sleeps. This is the Site Interceptor. Another day, another dollar. Just on site, surrounded by people that love me. Right, fellas? Oh, what a day. I was about to go home and I've suddenly got some very reliable intel that we're on for a massive raid. Colin Gizzard has been a building site security guard for the last 27 years. Using his specialist combat and detective skills, his duty is to protect tradespeople and building sites from crime. Something tells me I'm going to get these hands on a pretty big bus tonight. Who's that then? We're trying to take down a local gang of hardened criminals, the OCG. An organised crime gang? Oh, the Oxford Carpenters Group. Some chippies coming down from Oxford, taking all the work from the Bristolians. These guys are crazy hardened criminals. What makes you say that? <laughs> I heard one of them last week saying that he was going to knock out a couple of studs in the afternoon. You do not hit people for being handsome and good looking. He probably meant studs as in stud walks. Maybe he did. Yeah, maybe he did. Confirmed. Over. You have clearance to proceed. Go, go, go. Roger. Who's on the other end of the radio? Well, this. I'll let you in on a little secret. It's not actually real radio. I pre-programmed the voice himself. Check this out. Roger. Return to station. Over. Proceed with caution, officer. You really are the best, Colin. Thanks, Chief. Hey, Chief. I'm going to tie you up my handcuffs. <laughs> <laughs> Must be 40 or something. Let's go! The hour has come up for the Oxford Carpenters group. This could be the biggest bust of his career. Idiots, left their van open. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, 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 the intel was good. I wouldn't even like to guess the street value of this. What the hell are you doing in my van? Now, you have the right to remain silent, and if you do say, can be taken down and used in evidence against you in your next annual staff appraisal. Sawdust. <laughs> Cretin. And have you got said permission for said sawdust in said packages? Yeah. Who said? To keep in peak physical condition, Colin spends up to four hours every day in his local gym. Yeah, so I'm down here most nights, probably three or four hours, pumping iron. Oh, really? I've never seen you before. Well, you're probably new. How long have you been here, kid? Fifteen years. <laughs> He's always mucking about, oh, Nigel. Neil? No, my name's Neil. Oh. <laughs> so can I put you down for a decathlon? No, I hate coffee. Yeah, so sometimes I do some uh, bodyguarding work for high-profile construction stars. You know, your Lawrence Sewell and Bowen, Hand Yanni, Alan Titchmarsh, Nick Knowles, all of them. Any good stories? Well, I can't divulge too much information, but what I can say, one of them got the nickname Office Titchmarsh. <laughs> Ronnie Pickering. Who? Ronnie Pickering. Who's Ronnie Pickering? Who's Ronnie Pickering? He'd knock you out in a bare knuckle fight if he said that. He taught me everything I know. He taught me what to do if two trades blokes jumped on me. So how would you react right now if two guys jumped on you in this gym? Two guys jumped on me right now? I'd pull one off and I'd knock one out. Boom! Sometimes Colin has to train hard to get the crime-fighting body that he needs. Yeah, so I like to push myself to the max at this gym. A few months ago, they put a new machine in downstairs. I went on it for hours. Sick as a dog afterwards. What sort of machine was it? 
a vending machine. No charges were brought against the Oxford Carpenters Group and they wouldn't have a staff appraisal as they were subcontractors. And Ronnie Pickering claims to have never heard of a Mr. Colin Gizzard.